Luke Perry smiled his way past screaming fans on the way to watch this, a project that's near to his heart. It's the true story of Lane Frost, a young bull rider who died a champion. The movie's called Eight Seconds because that's how long a bull rider must stay on a bull before his score can be counted in competition. During filming, Luke was no stranger to the back of a bull. Check it out. Ride him now. Explain to me, somebody who's never going to do it, explain to me what it feels like as you get on the back of one of these big bulls. Immediately, it seems a lot bigger when it's underneath you than it does when you're watching it. Also, you're, you're, the first thing you're impressed with is how strong they are. And then when you put your hand, you know, you want to run your little finger right to his spine so you're sure you're in the center. When they start to cinch that rope around you and pull you down tight, and it, you can, it feels like a rock underneath your hand, you start to realize you're on 2,000 pounds of muscle. It gets a little scary then. Oh, he's hung up, ladies and gentlemen. His hand is hung up in that rope. He's a red suit. There and there's the three bulls. He's underneath the bull. Oh, Wade Frost is underneath the bull. You know, I'd stay on him a lot better if they quit throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> How much in the film is you actually on that bull? Quite a bit. I'm very, uh, I'm pleased and proud to say that uh, quite a bit of it is. Luke Perry impressed the family of Lane Frost so much they honored him at the world premiere. They presented Luke with a bronze figure of Lane, bronze so it could withstand any California earthquake, mudslide, or fire. Luke was overwhelmed. I've only got two words. Thank you. I think you were too choked up to talk. Is that accurate? It's not often you'll find me at a shortage for words, but uh, last night that just took my breath away. Luke Perry has guts. He rode eight different bulls making this movie. He was hurt one time. Eight Seconds is directed by John Avildsen, the director of Rocky and the Karate Kid. It opens Friday. George Pinocchio, News 8, Fort Worth, Texas.